brought to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house. This is actually kind of difficult. have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. How about locking them in without no food? There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. Yes, yes. When all the Continue. guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. No, oh, I will. This is going to be fun. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold cotton. You see, I, for one thing, I really need money. Because I want to buy a house, so I could store all of the stuff that's taking up space right now. This finery will do fine. There's nothing speed. Not bad. Not bad at all. I would like my staff, though. There we go. Now we're prepared. Why am I going like this? I have a key and I keep on forgetting that. So I'm going to exit the regular wait, wait. Wait, wait. Duh. Okay, no. Skin grad. Welcome back. It's not the quest that would get you a house in Skin Grad, though. If you do the insane person that chased us before, the one that Count was talking about in the previous episode's quest, though that means that Skin Grad gets like an empty house or something and then you can actually buy it. Hello. So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until I it's like over. I like your clothing, dude. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. Oh, thank you. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Ah, great. Go. Going. Okay, you can lure one of the guests. Six guests Hello. has finally arrived. Into well, it's about the time. dungeons. Do the you attic. know how long downstairs. you've been waiting? The attic. It the seems dungeons. like an age. The, the thingy downstairs, anyway. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, yeah. don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville... Devizi Dran and Primo Antonius. Now, who might you be? Please tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> My baby's sick and we're so poor. Oh, you poor dear. Well, this does make things difficult for me. I want to find the gold as much as anyone, but you need it so much more than I do. Okay. He's young, well-educated, and obviously full of himself. Not much different than any young nobleman, really. Yeah, you will not Honestly. get information like this. That's cute. I doubt it's good. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. I doubt it. Don't. You're too... I like that a lot. Good, good. That's really funny. I like... Talk... I doubt it. That's how you do it correct. I doubt it. That's it's good of you to say. What a th you're good. Now? It's obvious that young Primo comes from wealth. A chest full of gold would be mere spending change for him. Yeah, you kind of need to persuade all of them to actually tell them the real opinions. Well, if I can be perfectly honest with you, I find Neville quite attractive. Red guards are so exotic, don't you think? Uh, A, I don't think. B, I never met him. 
Oh, that man disgusts me. I this find his entire you. manner offensive. He guts you? Why, just before you got here, he told me the most off-color joke about an Argonian maid. Yeah, there's a gut. There's even a book. Last year, Argonian maid. That's right. It's a Breton name. I'll have you know the Petites are one of High Rock's oldest and most respected noble families. So what, the noble boy spent too much? Personally, I think she's a little floozy. She's been eyeing young Primo Antonius, probably smells his wealth. Nice to know your All opinion, right, lady. I guess I'd so better start North, looking. If you find the that gold, gold's not going to find itself. What you spend it on? Wait, let me... Hello. Oh, yes, the sixth guest. I'm Neville. I'm it's not. Nice to make your acquaintance. Primo's a blue blood, a noble through and through. He thinks he's better than most people, and in most cases, he's right. Yeah, once again, All he right. will not tell us his real opinion. Not now. I like that. Oh, pl really? Interesting. Don't talk such rot. Remark. That's just. I like that a lot. Whatever. Don't waste your remark. That's just. Where'd you get that? That's Yay, good. 54. That's re. What none? What a. Gr oh, please. 61. Don't try to manipulate me. I wish I could say that. Oh, that's. 65. Really funny. Not, not bad. Don't try to manipulate. You kind of need oh, a little bit great. of that's luck really with this much. one, though. What or they can just, just turn it so it wouldn't oh, be that good. Don't for try you. to manipulate. It's not bad. Oh, we didn't spend money on this one. Well, that's good. I'll confess that I have no idea why Primo is here. The kid's got more wealth than the rest of us combined. He sure doesn't need a chest of gold. Maybe he's incredibly greedy, but I don't think so. My guess is that Primo is so bored, he simply has nothing better to do. I think he's eyeing you behind you, but okay. What about yourself? I'm a red guard, though I've never actually been to Hammerfell. I was born here in Cyrodiil. My family has been in the Legion for three generations. Why are you not there, then? Why are you here trying to get easy money? Know what I think? I think that barbarian will do anything to get his hands on the chest of gold. He's kind of greedy and vicious. All of them. Trust me, I know. I was stationed at Fort Frostmoth for a few years on the Isle of Solstein. Those Nords are a bunch of animal-worshipping savages. They're all the same, full of meat and something to prove. We lost a lot of good men up there. Skyrim Dragonborn is men. going to so burn you. Also, if that wasn't a noble man, the Nord is eyeing you. Just thought you might want to. If I may be honest, I feel a bit sorry for the old woman. She comes from a noble family, I'm sure but seems a lot less well-off than she should be. And what about the... that woman over there? Dovizi is a dark elf. Yeah, I noticed. They call themselves Dunmer. When I was young, I spent some time stationed on Fort Moonmoth. You're not that old, you know. Morrowind. I have great respect for the Dunmer people. They are strong and noble and generally understand the importance of law and discipline. Unfortunately, Davizi doesn't seem to like me very much, but I don't blame her. The young ones tend to have problems with authority figures. Ask her out on a date. If you like her that much. All right, then. Hello. Well, hello there. Nels is my name. They some always freeze in some weird angles. It's like, oh shit, somebody's it. talking. <laughs> <laughs> Once an Imperial Legion bulldog, always an Imperial Legion bulldog. I've seen his kind before. He cares about laws and regulations, not people. Wait. And that's not even your real opinion. Oh my god. For you, of course. You have something interesting to say, don't I you? Accept. I have no choice. What nonsense. Well done. That's just stupid. Okay, so courage and boost? Boost? Yeah. Okay. What not? That's just. Well done. Well no done indeed. Waste. Sorry. What a great story. That's not bad. Thank you. I will confide something in you, my friend. 
I despise Neville and all his Imperial Legion ilk. They are useless, uncaring tools of corruption. Three years ago, my village in Skyrim was attacked by bandits. Oh my god, we you're from Skyrim? went to the nearby Skyrim? Imperial Legion outpost, but they refused to help but us. But you look so oblivion. My dear sweet daughter Olga was killed that day. She was murdered, and the Legion would do nothing to help her. Neville and his kind are scum. F the police! Okay. Primo is young and rich. I He's can right sense behind a good, you. decent person in there somewhere. He just has to get his priorities straight. Ah, don't let the name fool you. I had a bit too much mead a few years back, and there was this tavern wench. Anyway, just call me Nels. Fair enough. <laughs> you should have seen the old biddy trying to talk to young Primo Antonius. She may be a noble, but he looked down on her like a scullery maid. Dovesi? Let me confide something in you, my friend. Dovesi is the spitting image of my own daughter. Her skin is darker, of course, but that sweet face. Aww. My daughter was killed, like you her. see. A few years back. Yes, you told me. I'm sorry. Please forgive a father's heavy heart. Aww. I'm gonna leave you alone now. Have, a good idea have other people to talk. Hello, I'm Dovesi. I'm very pleased to meet you. Now that you're here, we can really start looking for that chest of gold. That what I mean to say is, is before you arrived, we all just sort of glanced around a bit. Now that we're all officially here, we can look in earnest. Sure thing. Wanna? I'm listening. Talk. Ugh. That's. I doubt it. Goodness. That's enough. Okay, so admire and cautious. I doubt. That's enough. Get away, f goodness. What can I say? Yes, goodness. What can you say? Really now? I doubt it. You win. Get away from me. No. You win the. Get away from me. goodness. I doubt it. I don't feel like going anywhere. I doubt. You win. You should please. I'll take that. I see. Maybe that's going to be enough. Not much to tell about me, really. I'm from Morrowind originally, but my family moved to Valenwood a few years ago. Yeah, I know. Wait. Do I? Didn't know anything about Valenwood, but okay. Well, at least that was the shortest description ever. Honestly, I don't think she likes me. It's because I'm a Donmer. I heard her say something to Neville, and it wasn't very nice. Aww. You have such an innocent way of talking. It wasn't very nice. Every now and then he looks over at me and smiles. I think he's sweet on me. If Nels finds the gold, maybe he'll want some company. Good thinking, girl. Well, not really. You should actually love him first, but whatever. You're a gold digger and you're going to die tonight. I know he's a retired soldier, but not just a soldier. He was an officer in the Imperial Legion. I hate the Legion and everything it stands for. When those soldiers came to Morrowind, they persecuted my people and stole our lands. Neville may not be in the Legion anymore, but who knows what atrocities he committed. It's pretty obvious that Primo comes from a wealthy family. He He's staring right at me very like creepily. Me, I'm afraid. Hmm. Not true. He? He did? Oh my goodness, what should I do? Should I talk to him? Or maybe play hard to get? Or should I, you know... Or would that be too forward? Go to his room oh, and wait you think there. so? I mean, it is rather forward, but I like it. All right, then. I'll wait for him in his room upstairs. I oh, didn't know about that you. option. Thank you. You're welcome, go. Hmm. Oh, yes, maybe we'll speak again. So, you finally showed up. It's about time. People you have the same voice as every single guard has. Waiting. All right. All right. Really? Interesting. That's just talk. Not funny. 
Not goodness. So what can boast I say? and admire. Really? You're a... You're way... Really now? You're such a charmer. No, you... What a... Ugh. That's just... What a... Th that I'm with you. That completely. might be enough. It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Indeed, my father owns more property than the East Empire Company. And you're here, why? I know he's a retired Imperial Legion officer. Apparently, he's been in campaigns all across the Empire, from Skyrim to Morrowind. I also get the sense that he's very eager to find the gold. I can't imagine his life of servitude to the Empire left him with much to retire on. Nels is a drunk. He doesn't even try to hide that fact. But what else is he? When the liquor is dried, what remains of the man? You seem smart. I think Nels drinks to forget. Maybe about some tragedy in his life. He plays the buffoon, but I yeah, sense... Yeah, I know about his strategy, though. deep sadness. <laughs> Tragedy, I meant. Apparently, the poor old woman thinks she's from a well-to-do family. Truth is, I have servants with more nobility in their blood than her. Uh, that's not nice. Can I be honest with you, my friend? I find Dovisi captivating. She possesses a beauty beyond compare. That's great. She's my Maybe first you victim. Do me a favor. If you speak with her, put in a good word for me, would you? I would be forever in your debt. Okay, I'm allowing everybody to move out. Oh, yes. Maybe we'll speak again later. So she could climb upstairs into her own personal room. Like all the good girls do. Oh, there's two of you. There's zero. There's one. You can't just do it like this, though. 